Hi and welcome to the Atheist Dominion. My name's Rob and you know there are two kinds of people in the world today. There are those that accept the harsh realities of life and of the world and of the universe and then there's a another lot of people who run from the harsh realities of life and the universe and who instead construct their own fantasy worlds of make-believe where they feel a lot more comfortable and a lot safer. And yeah, I'm talking about flat earthers, creationists as well, pretty much any kind of conspiracy theorist, people who can't handle the cold, hard facts and realities of life. And life is brutal. Life can be dangerous and short. Existence is tough. Life is tough. But that's the reality. And people talk about a blue pill and a red pill. Conspiracy theorists, definitely. Whichever one you take, you're screwed. But there's another pill you can take. It doesn't have a color. It's free to take. And it's the harsh reality pill. And I think that flat earthers and creationists need to start taking this pill. I know that there are, and I'm looking into flat earth for quite a while now, the feeling I get from flat earthers is that, and this comes up time and time again, that they're uncomfortable with the idea, they hate the idea of being on a globe. Well, the globe is the reality, they don't like that. They don't like the fact that we are in the infinite void of space, existing on a small planet, orbiting a small star on the edge of an ordinary galaxy. That really frightens them. They don't like that. So they make up their own fantasy worlds and call it flat earth. Now that's the thing about making up your own fantasy worlds. You can make up anything in it. You don't need science. You don't need reasoning, you don't need common sense. Anything you can make up, you can put into this world. But you know what? The Earth is a globe. Evolution is real. Evolution is cold-hearted. It's indifferent. It doesn't care about you. The universe doesn't care about you. So this is where I think conspiracy theorists, certainly the flat earthers, are operating from out of fear that they are alone in the universe. And they hate that idea. I can't be alone in the universe. There's God out there. He made it all, we're special. We're under the dome, we're in his protection. We're not flying through space alone. But the reality is we are flying through space on a globe. That's the reality. What conspiracy theorists and flat earthers do is live in denialism. They live on planet denial. Why not? That's why you need to take the reality pill. It has a very bitter taste. But once you take that pill and you leave the fantasy behind, you leave the make-believe behind, you start seeing the world as it really is. That's a beautiful place. You don't need the magic and the superstition and the supernatural. And coupled with this fear of being alone in the cosmos, flat earthers have a very pronounced suspicion and hatred of anything complicated, mathematical, scientific. They look at physics and astronomy and evolution. That can't be right, it's too complicated. It doesn't make sense. All those numbers, all those equations, all those findings not, must be made up, can't be right. So they retreat into their little fantasy worlds and then expect the rest of us to inhabit them. Reality is tough. Life is tough, existence is tough. So you've got two choices. You can either face the universe as it is, face life as it is, or you can retreat into your little fantasy worlds 
these little worlds where you make up the rules, where you're loved by God and you're special. It's nice to feel special, of course it is. And I understand that thought. Are we alone in the universe? Are we just an accident, a cosmic accident? Quite possibly we are. But that's where the reality pill comes in. You see the world and the universe for what they really are, not what you want them to be. Okay, not what you want it to be. See it for what it really is. Every time there's a discussion about globe Earth versus flat Earth, the flat Earthers always say the same thing. Show us proof of the curve, show us pictures from space. And there are millions of photos of the Earth from space. <laughs> there is so many, there's so much out there that you can look at. But of course, because they live in denial, they say they're all fake. Well, we've got millions of photos of the globe Earth. How many photos are there of the flat Earth disk? Zero, there's none, not one. And the reason why there isn't one photograph of the flat Earth disk is because the Earth isn't flat. And it's easy to choose to live in a fantasy world. There's no responsibility there. You don't have to prove anything. You can make up whatever rules you want. Flat Earth belief doesn't even rate as medieval. A lot of Flat Earthers seem to think that everyone believed the Earth was flat in medieval times. They didn't. Look at all the paintings of globes in medieval paintings. Medieval people were intelligent, progressive, creative, extraordinary people. And our society today is built on what they accomplished. Flat Earth belief doesn't rate as medieval thinking. It's a regression back to prehistoric tribal belief, full of myth and magic and the supernatural. Where does the sun go at night? Well, we know where it goes. It doesn't go anywhere. We're orbiting it. Flat Earth is the ultimate regression, uh, a, a pathetic regression, turning the clock of human development back so far. Another beautiful day, very hot today. This umbrella is up for two reasons. First of all, to keep the sun off. It's uh, quite fair. Uh, and also because it's still magpie season. I haven't seen any around here. So what world do you want to live in? The one where you make up your own rules and then shout everyone down because they don't agree with what you've dreamed up. Wouldn't you rather know that the universe is perhaps infinite and that we are on a globe and that we did evolve? It's going to cause apoplexy for some of you flat earthers, probably all of you. But it's the reality. You deny it. Sure, you'll make up a ton of videos trying to prove that the earth is flat. And then they're quickly debunked. But because of your denialism, it doesn't sink into you. You prefer your fantasy. You prefer your supernatural explanations. How is it that the sun just hovers up there? Or the moon, what's holding them in place? God? You certainly don't believe in gravity, so what's holding them up? Take the reality pill. As I said, it's bitter. But in the end, it'll open your eyes to what the world and life in the universe really is. Not what you want it to be. Now, it's painfully obvious that flat earthers don't know how the flat earth model works. They're working on it, they're trying to make it fit what we observe, but it doesn't work. Flat earth doesn't work. So because they know it doesn't work, what do they do? What do they say? What's the standard response? Everything is a lie. We're all being lied to. That's their get out of jail free card. Because they can't prove anything, all they can do is say everything's a lie. Well, that's the coward's way out. Research, discovery, science, learning. These are laborious, time-consuming activities. These can take a lifetime. People asking questions, testing, observing without the need 
for a creator. We don't know everything. Science isn't about knowing everything. It's about gradually learning what we can bit by bit. What the evidence shows us though, and what's all around us, is that the earth wasn't made magically by a supreme being over a six day period. No offense, but that's not what we observe. The earth is ancient and it spins. So to flat earthers and creationists and whatever alternative denialism groups may pop up in the future, take the reality pill. Take it, go on, it's bitter. It'll do you good in the end. Otherwise, you're just gonna fall further into paranoia and suspicion and denialism, and that's no way to live your life. Accept the earth as it is. We're not indoctrinated because we know that the earth is round. We're not indoctrinated, we can think for ourselves. Can you think for yourselves, or are you just towing the flat earth party line? It's funny, people say, well, if space exists, how do you know? Have you been there? It was a recent discussion I had with someone. And I'm like, no, I haven't been to space. But I also haven't been to Mongolia. Does that mean that Mongolia doesn't exist because I haven't been there? Take it even further. How do you know oxygen exists, flat earthers? You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. You can't touch it. How do you know oxygen exists? I know this is a an extreme silly example. But how do you know? Are they lying to you about oxygen? Are scientists and doctors lying about it? So if you believe oxygen exists, well then whose word are you taking for that? The doctors and the scientists and the experts? Well, if you believe them, why don't you believe the scientists about space and other planets and evolution? Very picky bunch, flat earthers. Flat Earth is a nonsense, regressive, juvenile, step backwards. It's really embarrassing that people actually think that the Earth is flat. I guess that's the power of delusion. People can believe anything. And a couple of magpies here, I hope they're in a good mood. He's flying. We should be near the end of magpie season soon. I got swooped on a couple of weeks ago. It's a very claustrophobic world, the flat earth world. We're sealed in a dome with water above. What a tiny existence that is. Tiny minds promoting a tiny existence. And it's a closed world. And it's the closed minds who promote that closed world. Planets are real, galaxies are real. How big the universe is, we don't know. Could be infinite. Is there an end? Does there have to be an end? Is it something else? That's what science does. It searches. It strives to understand. They ask questions. Flat earthers don't ask questions, they yell answers. So take the reality pill, flat earthers. Get a good night's sleep. And see the world for what it really is. It'll do you a round world of good. Okay. Let me know how it goes.